Welcome to the Digital Peloton News for February 26th, 2024, covering off a number of things that have come across my desk in the last week or so, related to bikes and bike tech and things that I found interesting. In today's roundup, on the power meter side of things, the long-awaited SPD power meter pedal from Vivero has arrived. On the crank side of things, Four Eyes have officially launched their dual-sided Precision 3 meter on 12-speed Shimano cranks. In indoor news, Garmin Tax have a stop sell on the Neo 2T in Australia, and we don't know why. Wahoo have an updated firmware for their Wahoo Kicker 6 and Kicker Move smart trainers to support virtual shifting and 10 hertz race mode over Bluetooth in Zwift. Zwift have a run out deal on the Zwift Hub 1 with 20% off that while inventory lasts. And finally, the Taipei Cycle Bike Expo is on the near horizon. Kicking off from March 6th through 9th, there should be a few interesting new products launched during that week. Onto the power meter pedal we all knew was coming, we just didn't quite know when. The Fivero Asioma Pro MX SPD power meter pedal designed for cross-country mountain bike, gravel and cyclocross. There have been quite a few reviews of these published this week, all echoing a very similar story, that these are good. They are the lightest SPD power meter pedal on the market with no compromise in stack height, pedal Q factor or weight. It seems the only issue with these is availability, with these selling out within minutes of the launch. Now you can sign up on the Favero website to be notified of any changes in availability, and I'll put links in the video description below to that, along with my lengthy 24 minute full deep dive review of these pedals. Almost two years since the initial release of the Precision 3, and around 12 months since they had things ironed out, comes the dual-sided version of this power meter. Now, this isn't just a power meter. This will also act as an air tag. So yes, it's also a security device. I've covered the air tag functionality on P3 power meters in a whole other video. I'll link below in the video description to that. But this week's announcement is all about the right-hand side, pairing up with the left-hand side, giving a dual-sided meter. Now, this release has been quite the journey, and I do have a unit here that I'm still putting through its paces. Unfortunately, I'm still seeing some inconsistencies on the right-hand side, possibly related to too much sensitivity when performing a zero offset. It could be environmental. I've been racing it in some quite hot conditions, the complete opposite of Canada at the moment. But look, the ball's in the court of four eyes. They have all the data. We'll see if we can iron out some gremlins with that, and I'll present my full review, hopefully, in the near future. Onto the Neo 2T stop sell here in Australia, where we're unable to purchase these units for the time being. Now, I did have a retailer reach out to me in the last week asking if I had any further detail for them on this one. Now, I wasn't aware of any stop sell, so I did ask Garmin Direct here in Australia for more details. I got a reply from Garmin HQ in America, so something is definitely up here. The reply being that shipping of the 2T will recommence shortly following some updated internal processes that were required. Now I have no further information on this. I have no indication if this also relates to the Neo 3M or if it's anything existing owners need to worry about. Having said that, I know that may raise more questions and that's exactly why I attempted to get more clarification. So if anybody has any further detail on this or if I get any further detail direct from Garmin, I'll put it below in the comments. Now in happier news indoors, following the release of the updated firmware for the Kicker Core to support virtual shifting and auto calibration, Wahoo have released updated firmwares for their Wahoo Kicker 6 and Wahoo Kicker Move direct drive trainers. These trainers now support virtual shifting within Zwift along with 10 hertz race mode also within Zwift over Bluetooth. Previously race mode was only available via Direct Connect. Similar to the Core update, this update has been well received by Kicker 6 and Kicker Move owners. Kicker version 4 and version 5 owners will have to hold out just a little bit longer for their update on this. Now here's something that was a little unexpected and it's a very solid deal on the Zwift Hub 1 Smart Trainer. Zwift look to be clearing inventory of the Hub 1 Trainer, which is the Zwift Hub, the Zwift Cog pre-installed, the Zwift Click Gear Changer and 12 months of Zwift subscription. This is now 20% off, making it around $479 US. Now, even though this trainer is being sunset, the warranties will be honored and support will remain in place. Do note though, this trainer will continue to be compatible with Zwift and other platforms with a full cassette, well beyond that two year warranty slash support period. The full details and FAQ are over on the Zwift website, but if you're looking at picking up a trainer or a second trainer for 479 that has the cog with the click and 12 months of Zwift, this deal, well at $4.99 it couldn't be beat. At $4.79, it's a little better. Now the Wahoo Kicker Core has replaced this trainer, but Zwift do say they'll honor the warranty. 
and right up until that announcement of the Kicker Core replacing this trainer, it was well loved. Anyhow, as the consumer, it's your call what and where to purchase, but I will put links in the video description below to this deal. And finally today, bike show season is ramping up for 2024. I do love a good bike show. Now next week, Taipei Cycle is underway. Unfortunately, I can't make the expo this year. I have other commitments, such as riding a bike with good friend DC Rainmaker for the week. So that took priority. But I do have my ear to the ground, and I do know there's going to be a few interesting product releases over there in Taipei. I'll do my best to get all the details and cover them on here. Okay, there we are, a few topics that I've been diving into here on the YouTube channel and things I've been working on behind the scenes. Now in front of my handlebars this week has been the Machine C606 cycling GPS computer as seen at Eurobike and I've been putting it through its paces. There's a new firmware update coming out they've just emailed me about so I'll be out testing that again tomorrow and indoors I've been deep diving into virtual gears. Not just ensuring they work, but deep diving into exactly what power, what cadence, and what flywheel speed is required for those virtual gear ratio. It's early days, I'll dive deep into that here on the channel soon. As always, if you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to be across more videos uploaded to this channel, and thanks for watching.